With 21 different bars and a choice of 10 dining venues, MSC Virtuosa offers a range of options for passing the hours with something tasty in your mouth. Last May, we sailed on her inaugural four-day cruise and we made it our mission to visit as many of the bars and restaurants as we could in the time we had. Whilst we may not have got round them all, we did manage to try out all the premium dining venues and as a result, here's our tasty guide to what MSC Virtuosa has to offer if you're prepared to hand over a few more notes of your hard-earned cash. Speciality dining on board is not cheap, but despite the cost, we still recommend it. We didn't eat much in the dining venues included in your fare, but when we did, as we did here at the gala dinner, mm, dining with BBC's The One Show no less, the food was very good indeed, and we had very little to complain about. If you're lucky or wealthy enough to be in the Yacht Club, dining there is also a notch above the standard MSC dining experience, but not in our experience a huge step up. Breakfast was nicely executed but basic looking, and our evening meal was a bit blander than we anticipated. The food was good, but not terribly exciting to look at or eat. This may have been a one-off, but if you're paying Yacht Club prices, we expected more. However, the little treats on offer all throughout the day in the top sale lounge in Yacht Club were beautifully presented and were all delicious. And believe me, I tried them all. We would recommend that before your voyage, you look at MSC's website and prepay a dining package, as the prices on board are most definitely higher than buying beforehand. The only problem is that you have to commit to going to these restaurants you've prepaid for, which I guess many people may not like, because they're on holiday and it's nice to be spontaneous with choices. <laughs> Am I right? Are you a pre-planned Percy or a spontaneous Sally? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Butcher's Cut is a firm MSC favourite speciality restaurant. An American-style steakhouse, it seats 58 guests on the Virtuosa and is located in the Upper Galleria, midships on Deck 7. Decorated in a traditional steakhouse style with plenty of dark wood and sultry lighting, most of the seating is inside the restaurant, but there are a few tables on the balcony overlooking the Galleria. We pre-booked the two-venue dining experience, which along with a visit to Indochine, cost us 62 of your English pounds per person. However, there is the option to visit Butcher's Cut once on the ship at a cost of £43 per person for the Sallies among you. This offers guests a three-course meal from a set menu offering five choices per course, including Steakhouse Classics Filet Mignon or a sirloin steak and chocolate lava cake or New York cheesecake. Oh yes. There is also an a la carte menu but at an average cost of about £70 each for three courses, the dining experience option offers much better value for money. £70? Are the steaks cooked by Salt Bay? Indochine is a brand new specialty dining venue to NMSC Cruises. Located inside the L'Atelier Arts Bar, it is a light and airy venue with large porthole windows and lush velvet seating. It offers modern Vietnamese cuisine with a classic French twist, with the dining experience set menu costing 54 British pounds each and an a la carte menu which would average out at around the same price. Thankfully, we had pre-booked the two dining venue experience, so it didn't cost us this much, and whilst the food was delicious, and there was certainly plenty of it, we did also think this was a bit overpriced. We started with two plates of spring rolls for the table to share, one plate hot fried spring rolls and the other of cold salad spring rolls, both served with a peanut, hoisin and sweet chilli sauce. The appetisers that came next were large, with a choice of calamari, papaya salad, Indonesian soup or a snapper carpaccio. The main choice was a beef bow bun. Try saying that when you've had a few. Pork belly, cod papillot, or noodles, and a choice of sides. There was so much food we could only eat about half of it. For dessert, we all chose the Vietnamese custard, 
which was like a creme caramel and was a lovely sweet little finisher to our delicious meal. If you fancy eating here, we would definitely recommend it as part of the pre-booked two dining venue package, which includes a meal here and in Butcher's Cut. Ola is another new to MSC Cruises speciality venue and at the time was only available on Virtuosa. It is located in the main galleria and offers Latin America street food. Inside is very colourful with a range of table and bar stall style seating and offers a very relaxed dining experience. The menu is varied, offering small plates of nachos, tacos, quesadillas, salsa and guacamole and larger plates of enchilada, burritos and tamales. To finish this all off are a range of Mexican desserts, including churros and ice cream tacos. All of the dishes were reasonably priced, but we would recommend the all-you-can-eat offer, which is a complete and utter bargain priced at £16.99 each. Yes, that's right, £16.99 for all you can eat. Am I on the same ship? You order the food as you want it, and you can just keep ordering plates of food until you can take no more. We went for lunch on a sea day and ended up being there for two and a half hours, just ordering more and more of this irresistible food. My only regret is that the churros were unavailable and I ate too much to fit in an ice cream taco. Make sure you pace yourself. Of all the speciality dining options, this was our favourite. And if you only do one additional cost meal, make it this one. Believe me, you won't regret it. Kato's Sushi and Teppanyaki restaurant is located on the upper deck of the Galleria, with Kato offering a few seats at the sushi bar and some overlooking the Galleria, and Teppanyaki offering only 16 seats round the food preparation bar. We went to Kato for lunch and shared a sushi and sashimi platter between two of us. We found this enough for lunch and it gave us a good selection of sushi. As with all sushi bars, there is a variety of small plates, all reasonably priced, as well as combination plates and a dining experience priced at £31 each. Teppanyaki is very popular and we would recommend booking this early. It's more than a dining venue, rather than an evening's entertainment, as the chefs show off their knife and cooking skills in front of you before you get to enjoy the fruits of their labour. We didn't manage to dine here because we ran out of time. Sorry, no footage. If you're a chocoholic, then MSC Virtuosa has a little oasis of cacao heaven just for you. Standing either side of the middle of Deck 6 Galleria are the Jean-Philippe Café and the Gelato and Creperie Bar. The chocolate café and shop is the perfect place to buy gifts, eat chocolate and sweet treats, or indulge in the most delicious hot chocolates. Not only is this somewhere for chocoholics to come and be relieved of their hard-earned cash, it is also a place to stand and marvel at the chocolate makers practicing their art. Opposite the cafe is the most tempting of places in the Galleria, the Creperie and Gelato Bar, offering a multitude of toppings for the delicious crepes, indulgent milkshakes and too many flavours of mouth-watering gelato to be able to only visit once. This is a must-stop venue for anyone with a sweet tooth. Although none of the offerings in the Jean-Philippe Café or Creperie and Gelato Bar are included in any of the MSC packages, they are quite reasonably priced for a little daily treat. Go on, you're worth it. That's all folks, but before you go, click on these other fab MSC Virtuosa videos we made, which will give you more useful info about your planned voyage on this beautiful ship.